talking to you uh, from my very own kitchen. Um, you can see all my all my duckies are lined up, ready and excited because um, I'm going to demonstrate a few uh, Tupperware products for you that I personally use like every day uh, in my own kitchen, so I can really vouch for the wonderfulness of uh, Tupperware. Um, so the first thing I want to demonstrate for you, I'm going to my drawer, is um, something that has literally changed my life. Um, and it's a very modest product, but let me tell you, it is the Tupperware can opener. What? And look at that. Look at it. Looks like a like a killer whale. <laughs> it looks like an orca, kind of. Um, which um, is it, kind of appropriate because Tupperware products, of course, are sustainable. Yes, um, keeps us from throwing uh, all sorts of uh, plastic crap in the oceans. Um, so maybe they had an idea when they made this black and white. Anyway, um, so. Uh, uh, number one thing about this, um, uh, or number one thing, um, is that um, I've had this for nine years, and I just want you to see there is not a speck of rust on this. Nine years, and uh, that's because you don't have to wash it. Why would you not wash it? Because you don't have to. Who wants to wash anything? Um, because none of it, ever, the, the parts never touch the food. What? Because... This opens cans in a whole new way. Um, uh, second thing that I love about this is it's ergonomic. Um, it feels really good in your hand. Um, and uh, very easy to operate. Um, feels good in your hand. And this, uh, the, the turny thing, the official word for it, um, is large. You can actually grip it. You can hold it and grip it. Um, if you have any problems with your hands, uh, muscle aches, arthritis, it's fantastic. And um, it also, like I said, opens cans in a very unique way. Um, uh, and I'm going to demonstrate on my can of garbanzo beans because I'm going to make hummus later. Um, and uh, I'm going to use as a prop uh, my Zaxa bowl um, so you can maybe see it a little better. Um, okay, so the thing about the can opener is um, you open it up and um, you stick between the... the the grippy thing and the cutty thing goes on the top of your can, right? So you open it up, it goes on the top of your can. I'm going to hold it like that, right? Ooh, 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 ooh. And watch, wait, wait. So you don't have to struggle and slip with a little tiny melt. No, you're at the top of the can, so you just go like this. Hello, oh, no, no. I am just twisting and shouting. And it's this little smooth motion goes all the way around, and then you feel, oh, I just felt it, oh, feel a little pop when it comes to the end, um, but you'd also know it's the end because there's, like, little ridgy marks in it, in the inside of the can, I don't know if you can see, anyway, oh, I'll show you later, um, ridgy marks inside the can to show you that the can has been opened, okay, so, we're done twisting our can, look how easy is that, look at that, um, so we open our legs up, ah, like that, and instead of having to, like, poke at the can lid and like get a fork and try to pry it up guess what it has a little like a little beak a little thing in here a little grippy thing right there and you you clip it on the edge of the can and you close the legs back up and it you just lift the can open like this what and see no food never touches the can okay that would be amazing enough but wait here's something that I dare you to do with any of your other regular can openers. Watch. Would you do that with any of your cans? That you open with a regular can opener? No. No blood. Why? Because all smooth edges. What? That means no sharp edges on your can whatsoever when you open it. I can't believe it. So if I'm going to toss this in the garbage right now, and then later on, I throw something in the garbage, and I try to tamp the garbage down uh, to, to, to like fit more garbage in. I'm not going to catch the edge on my fingers and, and slice my palm off like I've done several times with tuna fish cans, just want to say. That's not going to happen. Also, the another exciting thing, the fact that when you open the can with your Tupperware can opener, guess what? If you use a little bit of your garbanzo beans or your, your, pea, or your uh, chickpeas, same thing, I guess, um... And uh, you want to save some for later? Here's another thing you do. I'm going to open the can. Oh, there we go. And I can take the lid and I can put it back on the can. 
like new. What? Goes back on. Now, that'll come in handy. Uh, because what you can do is, you can, you can um, use your cans and wash them out. And then, you can use your cans for like, secret hiding places. Right? Because the can, the lid will come right off again, and you stick it there, you can put in like, house keys, or like, um, jewelry, or uh, things you don't want people to find, like, like birthday lists or something like that. You put it in there, you put it back in your cabinet, and no one's going to know that it's not a can of garbanzo beans. It's actually a secret hiding place. It's amazing. So, um, I was to say, um, this is item number, what item is it? Number, oh, in the, uh, oh, in the catalog. It's, I don't have it on my refrigerator. Item number 1291 in your catalog. And um, uh, I will end this by uh, telling a joke about... Uh, a dirty joke taught to me by Coral Key in Alaska, and um, that the joke is, uh, what's the difference between a chickpea and a garbanzo bean? I've never had a garbanzo bean on my chest. There you go. Tupperware can opener.